Hey guys, in this mini vlog, we're gonna pick apart U2's song One, which is so good, and we're gonna really understand what went into making this song. So, to start out, I'm gonna look up this song on the internet, and I'm gonna search for U2 One chords, and see what we can find. And the first hit, as always, right now, is Ultimate Guitar. And I'm looking at version one, which has over 2,000 views. And out of the gate, it's got some weird tuning. Basically, every string has been tuned down by a semitone to make it easier to play these chords. Uh, so we're going to figure out what key the song really is in to figure it out. So let's do it on the keyboard first. And to do that, I'm going to look up the song itself and listen to it. So on YouTube, there are two versions of the song, one of the band singing, you know, heartfully towards the camera, and then there's another one where it's just slow motion buffaloes, and I'm going to go with the buffaloes version. I think most people probably like the buffaloes more, because who doesn't like a good black and white slow motion buffalo ambling across the open prairie? I think it's going to really inspire us to come up with better results right here. Hold up. So the Buffalo's version is a live performance in the background, so I don't know if I want the Buffalo's version. I like the visuals, but maybe having the official is better. We're going to go with the studio version, because we know it's for sure in the right key, and I, I'm a sucker for studio versions of recordings. It's like how it was intended to be. This is interesting. Oh, it is F major. I thought it was F sharp. Okay, so that makes sense. Well, that's weird. Okay, so let's see if we're in the correct inversion. I don't think so. Let's do. First inversion seems the easiest so far. So, so far there's this E, this hanging E, that is kind of like the theme, it's, it's the thread that stitches these chords together, so. Whoops. Whoops. Pick this apart a little bit. There's that ah ah. It's like by having a major two, so it's a D sus two. So you go from A minor to a D sus two. So it's including an E above D, which is kind of a dissonant. And then going to e, uh, F major seven, which is also that E, and that major seven. That's nice. So let's see. Uh. So you two, something they're kind of known for is looping the same chord progression. They like find an awesome chord progression and then they just let Bono run with it. They're like, here's a chord progression. I can just see the conversation. It's like the edge is like, hey Bono, I've got this chord progression. I'm just gonna riff on this and you just go. Um, I think that's probably how the songwriting sessions go. Almost verbatim is my guess. Um, so now, so we've got Alright, 
let's figure out the next. Chorus. That's the thing about these. Oh no, the chorus is here. Huh. That is really satisfying, really satisfying to play. Um, that's another thing that U2 does is, okay, so they do repeat some chord progressions, but then they also, like, within the verse here, it's like the same, same thing, and then they, like, expand the verse. So, in a way, they don't repeat chord progressions sometimes, too, and, man, this is going to be fun to play. Uh, let's see. You say... is long but and it's like a two-part verse it's like verse part a and then part b um and then we're gonna get into the chorus i bet the chorus is awesome the chorus is the verse part a chorus actually you know what oh the chorus is a little bit different talking about this song. That chord change to F major 7 is amazing. So I'm trying to figure out what the tonic is, because it starts with A minor, and so it, has, it starts with that kind of pensive minor sound, but then it seems to resolve. The chorus goes to C, C major. So I think this is in C major. So let's figure out what chords we're using and a little bit of how all the chords fit together and we can figure out what we're working with here. So actually it's a not a D sus two because it has an F sharp that's a D add nine. It is a D, D add nine. It's a D major with an E. You're right. So yeah. So ultimate guitar, take it from this guy, it's a D add nine. Yeah. So we're gonna add that in. We're gonna use that as the label for the chord because that's really what it is, it's a D add nine. For the actual confirmation of what the tonic is, U2 throws us a bone at the very end. And so, listen to this last chord. Which is... So, to eliminate any ambiguity, thank you U2, you told us C major is the tonic, so we're gonna work with that. I'm starting to work on the modes and I am going to change the so D sus4 ultimate guitar was wrong so I'm going to cross that out and say that it's a D add 9 so we have these 1 2 3 4 5 chords it's in the key of C so we're going to write C D E F G A B and then C 
skill degrees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to get our bearings. Uh, this is how the chords show up in order of appearance within the song, but we care, what we care about is the context. So C is the one chord, so we're going to put C major right there. And then we have, let's just go A minor is in the sixth position, so it's A minor. And then D add nine is in the two position, so it's D add nine. Uh, G is in the five position, and what are we missing? F major seven is in the four position, so it's F major seven. So we have those chords. C is a major one, so that's in Ionian. Uh, it's also in Lydian and Mixolydian. Then we have D minor two, or sorry, D at nine, which is a major chord, which is Lydian. And then we have F major seven, it's basically an F chord with a major seven added, so it's a major four, which is an Ionian, Dorian, and Mixolydian. And then we have G major, which is a major five, which is an Ionian, Lydian, those two, and then A minor, which is a minor six, an Ionian, Lydian, and also Mixolydian. So, so far, it looks like this song is in Ionian, and the giveaway on that is that it has both a major four and a major five, and Ionian is the only mode that has those. But the D add nine looks like it's maybe borrowed from Lydian. So it's got, it's basically Ionian with a borrowed chord from Lydian. So it looks like the song was in C Ionian with a borrowed chord from Lydian, a borrowed uh, two add nine. And so now we're gonna look at how these chords flow through harmonic space to really get a sense of how this chord progression was formed. Okay, so as I'm diag diagramming out the different song sections and chord progressions, it struck me that the verse section, the way that this labeled basically on Ultimate Guitar is wrong. Um, it's misleading, so not only is the D sus two chord really a D add nine, which it's like you think, oh okay, maybe it's labeled wrong. The sections are another area where it's like that's wrong. That's not how the song was composed. It's a different chord progression. It's labeled incorrectly. So I'm redoing the diagrams to make better sense of it, and I'll show you that next. Okay, so I've diagrammed out the different chord progressions within harmonic space within C Ionian, which this chord chord progression mostly is in. There's an add nine borrowed from the what was it the Lydian mode, I think? Yeah, so, Lydian. Lydian, awesome. Yeah. So really what it is, if you just went off ultimate guitar, you would think this was way more confusing than it is, but really it's three chord progressions. Most of the song cycles through these chords in the intro, verse, and interlude. And then you've got the chorus, which is really just three chords. And then the bridge section, which is labeled as chorus online, really it's the bridge section. And it is this kind of looping flow that leads back into the chorus and rounds it out. So these are the chords of the song and the harmonies of the song, progression of the song. So now I'm gonna flesh this out for a song insight. So definitely check that out. This ends the mini vlog.